Hi, Scrappy friends. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, a special welcome. I hope that you take the time to look around and look at some of my other videos, and I hope that you stay around. Today, we're going to start something new, and it's gonna be a little bit of a series, and I don't know how many videos it's gonna be, because I have actually never done this before myself. So we'll see how many videos it's gonna be and I don't know how often I'm going to air them. So we're just gonna go with the flow and see what we can get accomplished. Okay, so what I have here on my desk is a beautiful, beautiful, I don't even know if you guys can see how beautiful this album is with my lights shining. If I tilt it up, you can see this is a Creative Memories album, and it has that foiling on the front. It's just absolutely gorgeous. This is what Creative Memories sells, and they call it a Fast to Fab album. So that stands for Fast Pages That Look Fabulous When You're Done. So I've never actually created a Fast to Fab album. So as I talk, I will open up and show you. So what Fast to Fab albums are, are they're these pre-designed pages that usually go with a theme, okay? So why would somebody want to use this type of album? Well, this kind of album is especially great for a beginner. A beginner can take this album, they don't have to worry about selecting papers or matching papers. All that work is already done for them. All they have to do is put the photos on. I have a couple of photos here, I'll show you. They just have to put their photos on, maybe add a little journaling spot, or they can journal right on the, pap on the page, and then they go on to the next page. So then as the beginner advances, they can bring in some photo mats, and they can bring in some simple embellishing, and they can just grow with the process. and. They're eliminating all of the decision-making that comes with selecting the paper. So what would somebody like me, who's been scrapbooking for 25 years, and I feel like I already have my style and I know my likes and dislikes, so why would somebody like me want to do this? Well, I think I'm not alone when I say this, but I have some photos for a specific topic or event that happened in my life. and. I've never got those in a photo album and it's been years now and it's one event, it's one or two events that I just want to get in a photo album. Maybe I don't want to spend a lot of time fussing with a lot of the details, although I do want to still be true to my style, which would be adding layering and embellishment. So I do still want to do that, but I really just want to get these photos into an album. So that's why I decided I was going to do this Fast to Fab album. And I'll show you the photos in a moment, but let's just quickly go through some of this so you can kind of get an idea what I'm looking for. So the photos I'm going to bring in are actually of mine and my husband's honeymoon. So we got married, we're coming up on 32 years this summer, and I have never put those photos in an album and it's just one of those things where I've always wanted to do it I just never have and now it just dawned on me hey just get a fast to fab album and get them in an album well for our honeymoon we went on a cruise and then 10 years later for our 10th anniversary we went on another cruise and I've never put those in an album either I've done my wedding album and I did a family album for 2001 but I never, I did not incorporate any of the cruise photos because I always had this in the back of my mind that I would do a special album. So Creative Memories had this one, it's the Serene Waters, and I feel like it's gonna be perfect for cruising. Then at the back, I it comes with 16 uh, pre-designed pages, and then that was it, and at the end, didn't know how many I would need. So I added in a set of um, Tropic Time Fast to Fab pages as well back here at the end so that I would have a little bit different style. I know we went to the Caribbean, but I still feel like I could use tropical pictures. So if you follow me at all, you know I've used up all my Tropic Time pattern paper. And so this, I just love this collection. So I thought, why not put it in here and continue 
with my cruise photos. So I don't know if I'm gonna need all these pages, but I have them and I'm very excited to get going on this project. Like I was saying, I still wanna be true to my style. I still want to add in things that I like to make this photo album representative of how I scrapbook now. Let me grab the photos and we'll talk a little bit about that. So does this box look familiar to anybody? I mean, look at this box. It is beat up and just tattered up. I don't know, I do not know where this has been, but back in the day, this is what our albums used to come in, a box like this or a brown box. And what we would save these for is we would save these for power layout boxes. Back before the power layout kit was available, we used the album boxes and we used the cardboards that were um, in our paper packs to be the dividers between them. Now, when I grabbed this box, I knew this is where um, my photos were because on the side I labeled it. I don't want to tilt it too much. You'll see why in a minute, but I labeled it honeymoon. So I knew this is where my photos were, but I hadn't been in this box in years. And I, <laughs> when I opened it up, I was there was a few things I was very surprised about. So let's look in here. First thing is, let me turn it around. I was very pleasantly surprised that I did some kind of a power layout already. I went through and I put all my photos on each page and I just did that for all of the photos. And I even cropped them. And the funny thing is, Apparently, I loved my corner rounder as we all did back then, <laughs> and I corner rounded all the photos, and which is, makes it really hard now. So I'm gonna have to keep that, I think, for the most part, because if I go try and straighten them all out to more of my style today, then I'm gonna lose a lot of the photos. Photos back then were not digital yet. Uh, the quality is not that great, and they were smaller. So they already started off smaller, right? So I, I'm probably gonna keep the corner rounder. I even took the time to do some cutting with my custom cutting system. And I was very pleasantly surprised to see on the back that I wrote down which template I used. I mean, obviously I used the oval, so I didn't write that, but I wrote down which size I used. So I used the five by seven with the red blade on the inside. That's how I used to note all my photos. So very happy to see that. So if I want to mat any of these, that should be should make it a lot easier. Then here on the front, I had a note sheet. And this, I was pleasantly surprised as well. This is how I used to do my power layouts to keep notes. Um, I started, it would have like two, the two pages side by side. If you had a title page, you would put that, that's, you know, you can say title page or title page here and then nothing there. I'll show you what I did for that. But anyway, and then I kind of wrote down where we were each day. Now this was a cruise that was five islands in seven days. We were much younger back then, so we thought that was great, but it's very, it was very tiring. So I'm so happy I had this because all these years later, I would not remember which island we were on. So that was pretty awesome. On the back side, I have um, more, but I was just kind of made quick notes here. Then I even had an idea for my front cover page. So super happy about that. And then I even had some little notes here about where to find some inspiration. And I think that this part's pretty funny because um, this FF2 stands for Fast Formula Volume Number Two. And then I had some pages noted there and even some other things to remind me, like I wrote very easy with palm trees and starfish. Yeah, but I don't even have the books anymore. I, I don't think I do. I have a couple of these books lying around. I just, I'm not sure I have them and I'm pretty sure this is not gonna be my style anymore. So let's talk a little more about this style of power layout. This is not something I would recommend. The cardboard was great use of recycling our items back then, but not a great use for something that I ended up storing around for years and years. So I don't know when I put these on the cardboard, but I don't think it was the best for my photo. My photo. So this is probably not the greatest photo anyway. 
um, I'm guessing, but I'm thinking being on the cardboard didn't help. As I'm going through the box and looking, I'm just not super pleased about the photo quality. And I think that probably has a little bit to do with um, being on the cardboard. This was never intended to be like stored for so long, but it was. So if you even think you're gonna store it for a long time, please take it out of any kind of cardboard box. These are not acid free. They were never intended to be um, used this way. So get your albums out of your cardboard and into something that is photo safe. And that's, I wish I had done that, but like I said, the power layout kit wasn't even around then. And I truly thought I was gonna get right to this um, album. Okay, so that's the honeymoon. Like I said, I wanna put in the, our 10 year anniversary as well. And I wasn't so lucky to find them all nice and organized like this one. This is what I have for the 10 year anniversary. <laughs> so I have the year, the anniversary, and they're all in this folder. Let me see if I can show you in there. Yep, it's all the memorabilia and the photos, and it doesn't even look like that many photos. So I really need to go through here and um, dig these out now. Project number one, organize the second half of this album. Okay, so let's talk about the papers that I'm gonna use. So like I said, I wanna add some layering and I know I'm gonna do want to do some photo matting. So I did need to bring in some pattern paper and some cardstock. So the first thing I brought in is I did purchase the Serene Waters Tone on Tone paper pack. Then I'm gonna bring in some of my totally tonal packets. These colors are going to be perfect to match with my Serene Waters album and my Tropic Time. So I brought in the Tangerine, the Island Waters, Baby Blue, and then this one was from last year, the Totally Tonal Red and Orange, because I have orange left that I didn't use, and so I thought to bring that in as well. Then I decided to grab a bunch of coordinating cardstock, if you will, and I picked a um, section of like oranges and yellows, blues, and turquoise or aquas down here at the bottom. And then I just brought in this scrap of peacock green shimmer. My idea here is to build this kit and have it all at the ready. So all I have to do is kind of go through the kit, pick what I want, and work on the page and see how fast I can go once I have all, all this already determined. I also went through some scraps so I'm gonna bring in some scraps throughout. I just went through scraps and found things that would probably be appropriate, like this water, for a cruise. And then the last paper I brought in was this Serene Waters had a vellum pack. So I brought in some of the vellum pieces. I'm really hoping to be able to use this in this Fast of Ab album as well. So that's all of the paper that I'm going to be using. Let me clean this up and I'm gonna talk very quickly about the embellishments that I'm going to add. Okay, so for the embellishments, I did get the Serene Waters embellishment pack. There's a lot of ocean. There's some that I won't be using because it says by the lake. I don't think we are by any lakes <laughs> necessarily, but I thought I could always cover that up with something. Uh, but I, I, these match the album very nicely, so I thought that would be perfect to sprinkle those in. I also had some leftover embellishments from the vitamin C, so these beautiful tropical leaves, um, as well as I had from my Tropic Time collection, I still had some embellishments left over from that, so I just added those just to see um, if I could use any for this project. So I have all those there, as well as the sticker sheets that I had left over from Tropic Time. I did not get the sticker sheet for Serene Waters, but I thought I could use up some of these, that would be great. And then over here, I, I have the bling from, from Vitamin C, Serene Waters, Tropic Time, and then some miscellaneous ones. And then these I just came across in my stash and totally forgot I had them, but these are, um, they're called Cool Flower Embellishments. It goes with the Vivid Melodies. So I thought, oh my gosh, that's perfect. Those are a lot of the same colors. 
Now, I did not get the matte pack for Serene Waters, but I did pull in some of the ones that I had left over from Tropic Time, as well as I went through my stash and found some other journaling cards and things to bring in as well. Then the last thing I added to my tray is I went through and I kind of picked out some random dies for my die cut machine. I thought, I just wanna have these ready for when I'm on the page and I need to get something done right away. Some of these are new and some of them I've had for a little bit. And so I thought, you know, I just wanna have these at the ready to kind of help me get the page done a little bit quicker. If I have the idea here, then I'm not running back and forth to my die cut machine. And then besides these metal dies, I did make a list of tools that I wanted to add. I didn't bring them all out. These are just so I could kind of glance over at the list and decide if I want to bring in a certain tools. So I made a list of punches, uh, border punches, BMC cartridges, all that would kind of go with my theme. And just to have that list available and I can kind of look at it right away and go, yep, that'd be perfect for that page. Okay, the only tool I did bring in is my corner rounder because I'm thinking that I might have to um, do some rounding of edges on some things to actually match my photos. Then I had these cute borders and I haven't used any of them yet and the colors just seem like they'll be perfect. These are the rainbow edges, laser cut borders. So I'm gonna have these out and available. And then lastly, what I brought in is a variety of different alphas. Okay, so I'll be using that for creating titles. Okay, so that's my kit and that's how I plan to use it. I'm going to just have it, when I'm working on this project, I'm gonna just have it all out. I'm going to store it in a power project folder so that when I'm ready to work on it, I just grab it and sit down and start working on it. So let me put this away. I am actually gonna take the pages out of my album. I don't wanna work directly in my albums. I just wanna have work on just two pages at a time on my desk. And so let me put this away, take the pages out of my album, and we'll come back and we will start creating the first page. Okay, hold on. But before I go, I would like to take an opportunity to say, please click the like button. I really do appreciate when you do that. And it lets me know if you are liking this video or if you are interested in this type of content. Okay, so thank you for doing that and I'll be right back. So here's the first two pages that we're gonna start with. I'll line them up like that so we can kind of see them all at a glance. I do have a plan for how I'm going to tackle this project. So each page, I will start with photo placement and I'll arrange my photos on the page, kind of how I want them. So photo placement will come first and then I will look at my placement and decide if I want to bring in a mat of any kind or some layering pieces. And when I'm talking about layering, I'm going to be thinking about border stickers, border punch outs, uh, my BMC cartridges, and if I wanna add anything like that, I'm gonna count all that in the layering. And then the last step will be embellishing, and under embellishing will go my title, my journaling box, and then my embellishment cluster. So that's my, my plan. So first thing I kinda wanna do is to put these on here. my photo placement now I love this the vibrancy of the background but it is quite a little bit loud for my taste I think it kind of distracts from my photos a little bit so what I would do normally if I had this kind of paper it on a collection is I probably would just show a little bit on the outside so for this page layout I'm gonna bring in some cardstock and I'm going to bring in baby blue I want something a little lighter but I didn't really want white so I thought baby blue would be perfect. I have this scrap here, and actually I think this is gonna be a perfect size. Um, this, is pro this is a 10 by 10 inch square. So you'll see how just adding the paper really kind of tones down the 
vibrancy of it and it just kind of gives us an edge around so i still see all the beautiful colors and now i'm going to house all my photos right here so i'm going to get another 10 by 10 inch mat for the other side so that's simple right i added a mat which, ha which happened to be a layering area so then next i'm going to move on to the titling and the journaling so i have this big open spot over here that would be perfect for journaling and i found this great <laughs> journaling card that can actually go either direction it has a butterfly on it that i want to cover up but i like the color blue matches really nicely so i'm going to put this right over here i love the rounded corners my title is going to go at the top right over here because this is when we left and i already got these onto some wax paper and i really do advise that if you're doing a true power layout then i would suggest getting your titles your inspiration all that ready to go before you um start laying everything out onto the page okay so i'm gonna have to do some moving around because i do want it to be right up here it's going to say bon voyage in the two different colors to bring in the background pieces so now i'm ready to just add my embellishments now i do want to keep this a little bit simple so i brought in just a few things to add and i just kind of made a mix between all the embellishments i just showed you um, here's a die cut that i cut out from those die cut templates i, I love that it could be taken as like the wheel to the ship or a movie reel anything like that so i thought that would make a perfect base right at the top up there and then i want to bring in some of this palm leaves tuck it right under there so i'm just going to start adding some layers in here i feel like my title is kind of floating there so i did take some of that water scrap paper and another one of the die cut shapes and cut out this banner you can't see it probably but there's little stitching in it so that's super cute and i'm going to put it right about there bring this out put my title back up here okay so that's going to be my title so let's come over here to our journaling area because i feel like this is another great area i have a big um, open area to add in some more embellishment i love this one from the embellishment pack just add water <laughs> perfect okay so i have some of these coral pieces that i thought were just absolutely beautiful and i want to add them here to help cover up the butterfly do something like that now i put the orange on the inside and the blue on the outside so it can it can overhang onto the orange here and not get lost and then i have this little ship that came with the embellishment pack. And I liked this one because it's kind of a darker blue and it has a couple shades of blue and I thought it would really pull in the blue from the other side. So I'm gonna pop that up onto some foam tape and then put it right there. Yep, that's really cute. Then I want to add, I have this open area right up here. So I do want to add something up there so I brought in this little tag. Now I think this was meant to be a journaling box, but I'm going to use it as a embellishment base. So I'm going to tuck it right in kind of probably at an angle like that. And this palm leaf, I'm going to tuck that right in maybe on top in my leftovers from my Tropic time. I had a couple of these cute little flower punch outs this one from is the embossed blossoms and this one is the mandevilla the inside of the mandevilla flower punch these were just in my uh, little kit so i'm just gonna get them used up and on a layout let me pop this one up onto some foam and then it will go right there so that's super cute and then the last thing I want to add is in the embellishment kit for Serene Waters, it had this word relax. And I wanted that right down over here just because that's what we finally were doing after traveling all night, rushing to get on the ship. <laughs> we were finally relaxing. And so I thought that would be great word to add to help tell the story. 
And it's that simple. I am done with page one and two. Of course, I did do a little bit of pre-planning before I started to film, but you could see I kept it very, very simple. I have a few die cut shapes from and some punch outs, but other than that, page one and two are done. I'm going to get this all adhered down and then we'll come back really quickly with some finishing touches, okay? Hold on, there we go. Everything is adhered down so far and I just want to add a few finishing touches. So I have all of the bling and the, so the pearls and the gems and the enamel shapes that came with the different collections that I showed earlier. And I just wanna add just a few little finishing touches. So I'm going to add a little orange rhinestone right there. I love to do that in the flowers and it kind of helps to bring in some more of our colors. I just love these little water droplets. I think I'm gonna try and go as close to the green ones as possible because I don't have any green down here and I thought it would be fun to add some of the water droplets because we said just add water. So I thought, oh, it'd be so cute to just kind of put a few of these splashing around. So let's do that. Let's do three of them like that. Yep, I like it. It's super cute. And then up here, so let's see if we can just put him off to the side. There we go. Yeah, it kind of brings, we have the orange in our word here, but it kind of brings in the orange into our cluster up there. So there we go. We got the first two pages done. We are going to wrap up this video for now and I'll come back next time and do just pages. We don't have to go over the whole kit. So we'll just dive right into getting our pages done. Thank you all for watching. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye-bye. And if you're looking for more inspiration, click on this video right here or up there.